hey, last week I put out a message out there in the internet land um, asking for 26 new subscribers to my YouTube channel so I could apply for that uh, custom URL. Um, I got over 200 new subscribers, so thank you everyone who helped make that happen. You can now find me at youtube.com slash rx2movementperformance. As promised, I'm taking requests for content, and the first uh, one I'm going to field is from Comfort is a Myth on Instagram. He asks uh, for insight on becoming a great coach, uh, cues, experiences, principles, that sort of thing. Here's a little bit about my story and how I got to where I am today. Uh, when I first started teaching CrossFit, I consumed the CrossFit Journal pretty much every single night. I read tons of articles, watched lots of videos over and over again. And even today, I still am consuming stuff from that website, lots of good stuff. If you're a level two trainer getting ready to study for your level three, most of the study material that CrossFit provides uh, references back the journal. So, you know, for me, I spent a lot of time watching videos over and over again, reading the articles over and over again, and that was how I prepared for my test. And you know, I got better from it. A lot of things that I had forgotten, a lot of the basics that I'd read before and didn't quite understand before, it finally clicked. And I was like, this is crazy. I've been seeing this for years and I, now I, it makes sense. So the CrossFit Journal is a deep well of, of good stuff. So dig in there. There's a lot of things to learn from that um, cool resource. Also YouTube, I spent a lot of time watching Kelly Starrett on MWOD, Gymnastic Bodies, Ido Portal, Dark Side Strength. I've been watching a lot of juggernaut training systems lately. I'm a big fan of learning from other methodologies and comparing them, comparing what they teach to what we teach. And there's a lot of value in seeing what other people um, um, view as, as important or just seeing other ways to cue the same movements. My philosophy is the more I know, the more ways I can connect with people. Uh, I'm always about finding more cues, more. Um, different and creative ways to explain the same thing because sometimes people aren't going to respond to the common knees out cue They don't really know what that means So figuring out more than one way to explain the same principle is really really valuable Another thing that helped me get to where I am today is I studied other coaches You know, I would look on YouTube and watch other coaches explain things. I shadowed coaches shameless self-promotion If you're in San Diego or local and want to come uh, learn you can come shadow me for free Come watch me when I'm teaching a class, ask questions, come prepared with questions. I'm happy to help you guys with that stuff. Get a coach. At one point I had like three different coaches. I was working with Teresa Larson on my mobility and just learning about physical therapy. I was also working with Osh Chapman at CrossFit San Diego, learning gymnastics. I was also working with Cody Bergner at Invictus, learning weightlifting. And that's actually how I got connected with his dad. As coaches, you need a coach. You should know better and you should know that you need a coach too. And everyone needs a coach. That's, that's just bottom line. As far as cues go, again, I kind of talked about that a little bit earlier. A good cue is a cue that works. Don't be afraid to be creative and try different things. And if a cue doesn't work, that's okay. Try a different cue. Um, put it back in your back pocket and save it for later. As far as principles go, just keep learning. That's the most important thing. Once you feel like, or once you get this idea that you have arrived, then you've stopped learning, you stop growing, and no one needs that. You know, with our athletes, we expect them to keep getting better, and as coaches, we should be striving to get better every single day, and that's just part of the job. We keep learning, we keep growing, and that way the people that we impact and the people that we teach will keep learning and growing. So that's a really, really important thing. Don't ever get complacent with where you're at. Honestly, the more that I learn, the more I realize I have yet to learn, and that's, it's just an endless thing. So again, big thing is to be open-minded, and you gotta do this from the perspective of wanting to help people. That should be the root of why we, we coach. My satisfaction is in seeing people succeed. So movement is infinitely refinable, and so is coaching. It's infinitely refinable. So keep working, keep, keep hustling, keep learning, and um, keep loving on people. See you guys next time.